This is part one of The Rubiat of Omar Khayyam, translated by Edward Fitzgerald. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recorded by Nathan at antipodeanwriter.wordpress.com. The fifth edition of the Rubiat of Omar Khayyam, translated by Edward Fitzgerald. Part 1, Quatrains 1 to 20. Quatrain 1. Wake, for the sun who scattered into flight the stars before him from the field of night, drives night along with them from heaven and strikes the sultan's turret with a shaft of light quatrain two before the phantom of false morning died methought a voice within the tavern cried when all the temple is prepared within why nods the drowsy worshipper outside quatrain three and as the cock crew those who stood before the tavern shouted open then the door you know how little while we have to stay and once departed may return no more quatrain four now the new year reviving old desires the thoughtful soul to solitude retires where the white hand of moses on the bow puts out and jesus from the ground suspires quatrain five iram indeed is gone with all his rose and jamshid's seven-ringed cup where no one knows but still a ruby kindles in the vine and many a garden by the water blows quatrain six and david's lips are locked but in divine high piping pay levi with wine 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 red wine the nightingale cries to the rose that sallow cheek of hers to incarnadine quatrain seven come fill the cup and in the fire of spring your winter garment of repentance fling the bird of time has but a little way to flutter and the bird is on the wing quatrain eight whether at nyashapur or babylon whether the cup with sweet or bitter run the wine of life keeps oozing drop by drop the leaves of life keep falling one by one quatrain nine each morn a thousand roses brings you say yes but where leaves the rose of yesterday and this first summer month that brings the rose shall take jamshid and kaikobad away quatrain ten well let it take them what have we to do with kaikobad the great or kaikoshru let zal and rustum bluster as they will or hatim call to supper heed not you quatrain eleven with me along the strip of herbage strown that just divides the desert from the sown where name of slave and sultan is forgot and peace to mahmud on his golden throne quatrain twelve a book of verses underneath the bough a jug of wine a loaf of bread and thou beside me singing in the wilderness o oh, wilderness were paradise enow quatrain thirteen some for the glories of this world and some sigh for the prophet's paradise to come ah take the cash and let the credit go nor heed the rumble of a distant drum quatrain fourteen 
look to the blowing rose about us lo laughing she says into the world i blow at once the silken tassel of my purse tear and its treasure on the garden throw quatrain fifteen and those who husbanded the golden grain and those who flung it to the winds like rain alike to no such aureate earth are turned as buried once men want dug up again quatrain sixteen the worldly hope men set their hearts upon turns ashes or it prospers and anon like snow upon the desert's dusty face lighting a little hour or two is gone quatrain seventeen think in this battered caravanserai whose portals are alternate night and day how sultan after sultan with his pomp abode his destined hour and went his way quatrain eighteen they say the lion and the lizard keep their courts where jamshid gloried and drank deep and bayram that great hunter the wild ass stamps over his head but cannot break his sleep quatrain nineteen i sometimes think that never blows so red the rose as where some buried caesar bled that every hyacinth the garden wears dropped in her lap from some once lovely head quatrain twenty and this reviving herb whose tender green pledges the river lip on which we lean ah lean upon it lightly for who knows from what once lovely lip it springs unseen end of part one recorded by nathan at antipodeanwriter.wordpress.com this is part two of the rubaiyat of omar khayyam translated by edward fitzgerald this librivox recording is in the public domain recorded by nathan at antipodeanwriter.wordpress.com the fifth edition of the rubaiyat of omar khayyam translated by edward fitzgerald part two quatrains twenty one to forty quatrain twenty one ah my beloved fill the cup that clears to-day of past regrets and future fears to-morrow why to-morrow i may be myself with yesterday's seven thousand years quatrain twenty two for some we loved the loveliest and the best that from his vintage rolling time hath pressed have drunk their cup a round or two before and one by one crept silently to rest quatrain twenty three and we that now make merry in the room they left and summer dresses in new bloom ourselves must we beneath the couch of earth descend ourselves to make a couch for whom quatrain twenty four ah make the most of what we yet may spend before we too into the dust descend dust into dust and under dust to lie sans wine sans song sans singer and sans end quatrain twenty five alike for those who for to-day prepare and those that after some to-morrow stare a muezzin from the tower of darkness cries fools your reward is neither here nor there quatrain twenty six why all the saints and sages who discussed of the two worlds so wisely they are thrust like foolish prophets forth 
their words to scorn are scattered and their mouths are stopped with dust quatrain twenty seven myself when young did eagerly frequent doctor and saint and heard great argument about it and about but evermore came out by the same door wherein i went quatrain twenty eight with them the seed of wisdom did i sow and with mine own hand wrought to make it grow and this was all the harvest that i reaped i came like water and like wind i go quatrain twenty nine into this universe and why not knowing nor whence like water willy-nilly flowing and out of it as wind along the waste i know not whither willy-nilly blowing quatrain thirty what without asking hither hurried whence and without asking whither hurried hence o oh, many a cup of this forbidden wine must drown the memory of that insolence quatrain thirty one up from earth's centre through the seventh gate i rose and on the throne of saturn sate and many a knot unravelled by the road but not the master knot of human fate quatrain thirty two there was the door to which i found no key there was the veil through which i might not see some little talk a while of me and thee there was and then no more of thee and me quatrain thirty three earth could not answer nor the seas that mourn in flowing purple of their lord forlorn nor rolling heaven with all his signs revealed and hidden by the sleeve of night and morn quatrain thirty four then of the thee in me who works behind the veil i lifted up my hands to find a lamp amid the darkness and i heard as from without the me within the blind quatrain thirty five then to the lip of this poor earthen urn i leaned the secret of my life to learn and lip to lip it murmured while you live drink for once dead you never shall return quatrain thirty six i think the vessel that with fugitive articulation answered once did live and drink and ah the passive lip i kissed how many kisses might it take and give quatrain thirty seven for i remember stopping by the way to watch a potter thumping his wet clay and with its all obliterated tongue it murmured gently brother gently pray quatrain thirty eight and has not such a story from of old down man's successive generations rolled of such a clod of saturated earth cast by the maker into human mould quatrain thirty nine and not a drop that from our cups we throw for earth to drink of but may steal below to quench the fire of anguish in some eye there hidden far beneath and long ago quatrain forty as then the tulip for her morning sup of heavenly vintage from the soil looks up do you devoutly do the like till heaven to earth invert you like an empty cup end of part two Recorded by Nathan at antipodeanwriter.wordpress.com
This is part three of The Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam, translated by Edward Fitzgerald. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recorded by Nathan at antipodeanwriter.wordpress.com The fifth edition of The Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam, translated by Edward Fitzgerald. Part three, quatrains 41 to 60. Quatrain 41 Perplexed no more with human or divine, Tomorrow's tangle to the winds resign, And lose your fingers in the tresses of The cypress slender minister of wine. Quatrain 42 And if the wine you drink the lip you press, End in what all begins and ends in yes, Think then you are today what yesterday you were tomorrow, you shall not be less. Quatrain 43 So when that angel of the darker drink at last shall find you by the river brink, and offering his cup invite your soul forth to your lips to quaff, you shall not shrink. Quatrain 44 Why, if the soul can fling the dust aside, And naked on the air of heaven ride, Were't not a shame, were't not a shame for him, In this clay carcass crippled, to abide? Quatrain 45 Tis but a tent where takes his one day's rest, A sultan to the realm of death addressed, the sultan rises, and the dark, Faresh, strikes and prepares it for another guest. Quatrain 46 And fear not, lest existence closing your account and mine should know the like no more. The eternal Saki from that bowl has poured millions of bubbles like us, and will pour. Quatrain 47 When you and I behind the veil are past, O oh, but the long, long while the world shall last, Which of our coming and departure heeds, As the sea's self should heed a pebble cast. Quatrain 48 A moment's halt, a momentary taste, of being from the well amid the waste, and lo, the phantom caravan has reached the nothing it set out from. O oh, make haste! Quatrain forty nine. Would you that spangle of existence spend about the secret? Quick about it, friend! A hair perhaps divides the false from true, and upon what prithee? May life depend. Quatrain 50 A hair perhaps divides the false and true, Yes, and a single aleph were the clue, Could you but find it to the treasure house, And peradventure to the master too. Quatrain 51 Whose secret presence through creation's veins Running quick silver like eludes your pains, taking all shapes from ma to mahi, and they change and perish all, but he remains. Quatrain fifty two. A moment guessed, then back behind the fold, immersed of darkness round the drama rolled, which for the pastime of eternity. He doth himself contrive, enact, behold. Quatrain 53 But if in vain, down on the stubborn floor of earth, And up to heaven's unopening door, You gaze today, while you are you, How then, tomorrow when, you shall be you no more? Quatrain 54 Waste not your hour, nor in the vain pursuit of this and that endeavour and dispute, 
better be jocund with the fruitful grape than sadden after none or bitter fruit quatrain fifty five you know my friends with what a brave carouse i made a second marriage in my house divorced old baron reason from my bed and took the daughter of the vine to spouse quatrain fifty six for is and is not though with rule and line and up and down by logic i define of all that one should care to fathom i was never deep in anything but wine quatrain fifty seven ah by my computations people say reduce the year to better reckoning nay twas only striking from the calendar unborn to-morrow and dead yesterday quatrain fifty eight and lately by the tavern door agape came shining through the dusk an angel shape bearing a vessel on his shoulder and he bid me taste of it and twas the grape quatrain fifty nine the grape that can with logic absolute the two and seventy jarring sects confute the sovereign alchemist that in a trice life's leaden metal into gold transmute quatrain sixty the mighty marmot allah breathing lord that all the misbelieving and black horde of fears and sorrows that infest the soul scatters before him with his whirlwind sword End of part three recorded by Nathan at antipodeanwriter.wordpress.com This is part four of the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam, translated by Edward Fitzgerald. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recorded by Nathan at antipodeanwriter.wordpress.com the fifth edition of the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam, translated by Edward Fitzgerald, Part Four, Quatrains sixty one to eighty. Quatrain sixty one. Why be this juice the growth of God? Who dare blaspheme the twisted tendril as a snare? A blessing we should use it, should we not? And if a curse, why then? Who set it there? Quatrain 62 I must abjure the balm of life, I must, Scared by some after reckoning taken on trust, Or lured with hope of some diviner drink, To fill the cup when crumbled into dust. Quatrain 63 Of threats of hell and hopes of paradise, one thing at least is certain, this life flies. One thing is certain, and the rest is lies. The flower that once has blown, for ever dies. Quatrain 64 Strange is it not that of the myriads who, before us passed the door of darkness through, not one returns to tell us of the road, which to discover we must travel to quatrain sixty five the revelations of devout and learned who rose before us and as prophets burned are all but stories which awoke from sleep they told their comrades and to sleep returned quatrain sixty six I sent my soul through the invisible, some letter of that afterlife to spell, and by and by my soul returned to me, and answered, I myself am heaven and hell. Quatrain 67 Heaven but the vision of fulfilled desire, 
and hell the shadow from a soul on fire cast on the darkness into which ourselves so late emerged from shall so soon expire quatrain sixty eight we are no other than a moving row of magic shadow shapes that come and go round with the sun illumined lantern held in midnight by the master of the show quatrain sixty nine but helpless pieces of the game he plays upon this checkerboard of nights and days hither and thither moves and checks and slays and one by one back in the closet lays quatrain seventy the ball no question makes of a's and no's but here or there as strikes the player goes and he that tossed you down into the field he knows about it all he knows he knows quatrain seventy one the moving finger writes and having writ moves on nor all your piety nor wit shall lure it back to cancel half a line nor all your tears wash out a word of it quatrain seventy two and that inverted bowl they call the sky where under crawling cooped we live and die lift not your hands to it for help for it as impotently moves as you or i quatrain seventy three with earth's first clay they did the last man need and there of the last harvest sowed the seed and the first morning of creation wrote what the last dawn of reckoning shall read quatrain seventy four yesterday this day's madness did prepare to-morrow's silence triumph or despair drink for you not know whence you came nor why drink for you know not why you go nor where quatrain seventy five i tell you this when started from the goal over the flaming shoulders of the foal of heaven parwin and mushteri they flung in my predestined plot of dust and soul quatrain seventy six the vine had struck a fibre which about it clings my being let the dervish flout of my base metal may be filed a key that shall unlock the door he howls without quatrain seventy seven and this i know whether the one true light kindled to love or wrath consume me quite one flash of it within the tavern caught better than in the temple lost outright quatrain seventy eight what out of senseless nothing to provoke a conscious something to resent the yoke of unpermitted pleasure under pain of everlasting penalties if broke quatrain seventy nine what from his helpless creature be repaid pure gold for what he lent him dross allayed sue for a debt he never did contract and cannot answer oh the sorry trade quatrain eighty o oh, thou who didst with pitfall and with gin beset the road i was to wander in thou wilt not with predestined evil round enmesh and then impute my fall to sin end of part four recorded by nathan at antipodeanwriter dot wordpress dot com
This is part five of the Rubiat of Omar Khayyam, translated by Edward Fitzgerald. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recorded by Nathan at antipodeanwriter.wordpress.com. The fifth edition of the Rubiat of Omar Khayyam, translated by Edward Fitzgerald, part five, quatrains eighty one to one hundred and one. Quatrain eighty one. O thou, who man of baser earth didst make, and even with paradise devise the snake, for all the sin wherewith the face of man is blackened, man's forgiveness give and take. Quatrain eighty two. As under cover of departing day slunk hunger stricken Ramazan away, once more within the potter's house alone i stood surrounded by the shapes of clay quatrain eighty three shapes of all sorts and sizes great and small that stood along the floor and by the wall and some loquacious vessels were and some listened perhaps but never talked at all Quatrain eighty four said one among them surely not in vain my substance of the common earth was tame and to this figure moulded to be broke or trampled back to shapeless earth again quatrain eighty five then said a second never a peevish boy would break the bowl from which he drank in joy and he that with his hand the vessel made will surely not in after wrath destroy quatrain eighty six after a momentary silence spake some vessel of a more ungainly make they sneer at me for leaning all awry what did the hand then of the potter shake quatrain eighty seven whereat some one of the loquacious lot i think a soothy pipkin waxing hot all this of pot and potter tell me then who is the potter pray and who the pot quatrain eighty eight why said another some there are who tell of one who threatens he will toss to hell the luckless pots he marred in making pish he is a good fellow and twill all be well quatrain eighty nine well murmured one let whoso make or buy my clay with long oblivion is gone dry but fill me with the old familiar juice methinks i might recover by and by quatrain ninety so while the vessels one by one were speaking the little moon looked in that all were seeking and then they jogged each other brother brother now for the porter's shoulders not a creaking quatrain ninety one ah with the grape my fading life provide and wash the body whence the life has died and lay me shrouded in the living leaf by some not unfrequented garden side quatrain ninety two that even buried ashes such a snare of vintage shall fling up into the air as not a true believer passing by but shall be overtaken unaware quatrain ninety three indeed the idols i have loved so long have done my credit in this world much wrong have drowned my glory in a shallow cup and sold my reputation for a song quatrain ninety four indeed indeed repentance oft before i swore but was i sober when i swore 
and then and then came spring and rose in hand my threadbare penitence a pieces tore quatrain ninety five and much as wine has played the infidel and robbed me of my robe of honour well i wonder often what the vintners buy one half so precious as the stuff they sell quatrain ninety six yet ah that spring should vanish with the rose that youth's sweet-scented manuscript should close the nightingale that in the branches sang ah whence and whither flown again who knows quatrain ninety seven would but the desert of the fountain yield one glimpse if dimly yet indeed revealed to which the fainting traveller might spring as springs the trampled herbage of the field quatrain ninety eight would but some winged angel ere too late arrest the yet unfolded roll of fate and make the stern recorder otherwise enregister or quite obliterate quatrain ninety nine ah love could you and i with him conspire to grasp this sorry scheme of things entire would not we shatter it to bits and then remould it nearer to the heart's desire quatrain one hundred yon rising moon that looks for us again how oft hereafter will she wax and wane how oft hereafter rising look for us through this same garden and for one in vain quatrain one hundred and one and when like her o saki you shall pass among the guests star scattered on the grass and in your joyous errand reach the spot where i made one turn down an empty glass tamam end of part five end of the fifth edition of the rubaiyat of omar khayyam translated by edward fitzgerald recorded by nathan at antipodeanwriter.wordpress.com